our leadership of experiences and analysis and action. Our leadership's not ossified, but open. Fascists, neo-fascists, pre-fascists, post-fascists, proto-fascists, quasi-fascists. Fascists, no pasharan. Like stinking fish, they belong in the dustbin of history. Throw them there. The next two are much shorter, and they come. They come in half an hour's time. I want to. Um, I've got an announcement to make later, but uh, I want to read the introduction. It's so small, this writing for an old man's eyes. <laughs> uh, so, what does it say? Says here that I wrote it, wrote it. Rob is, I think probably Rob wrote it first, is one of the most consistent and prolific songwriters of our generation. And that's our generation, yeah? That's, yeah, yeah. yeah um, <laughs> having released 40 albums, 40 yeah. albums, yeah? His work, a mix of satire and wit, is both political and personal. I know that from experience. Because I, I certainly know it's political, and I certainly know it's personal. And I just hope we can give a big Rialto welcome to, to um, Rob Johnson. Thanks very much. It's up in the morning, get your boots on You only start to wake up once the kettle switched on And it doesn't much matter which winner won You're both Tweedledee, you get Tweedlestarmer And you and your tops You can nap off back to Eton Here's the score or draw We're always unbeaten Unbeaten Well it's a mouthful of tea and two slices of bread Cause there's hearts to be mended and the mouths to be fed With a hammer and a nail with a needle and a thread couldn't find your own elbow with an A to Z And you and your toffs You can naff off back to Eton Here's the score Win, lose or draw What are we? We're always unbeaten Unbeaten And tea room and bunting and swan. You're a quaint little tourist trap, long dead and gone. And you're more of the same old, won't change what's gone wrong. Over the motorway, slough carries on. <laughs> and you and your tops. You can nap off back to Eton. Here's the score. Win, lose or draw We're always unbeaten Unbeaten Well your team plays rubbish from time to time And your leader lets you down time after time Yeah but your team's your team and your class is your class 
those posh boys up the arse. And you and your tops. You can nap off back to Eton. Here's the score. Win, lose or draw. We're always unbeaten. Unbeaten. Well, my story's nothing special. It's much the same as yours. I might be 27 or I, I might be 54. I might be five weeks early or I might be 95. But it won't be hope and glory that's keeping me alive. Yes, that's the ballad of the NHS. That's the ballad of the NHS. Well, a sister from the NHS, she held my mother's hand. The day I took my first breath, free at the point of demand. When I had the measles, when I bashed me knee. This doctor from the NHS, she fixed me up for free. Oh, yes, that's the ballad of the NHS. That's the ballad of the NHS. And though the pound devalues and up the Beatles break, well, we knew that we could carry on with matron Hattie Jakes. And it might just be a little prick to you, but not to me. And when you're feeling Tom and Dick, they treat you equally. Oh, yes, that's the ballad of the NHS. That's the ballad of the NHS. Well, you might be hoity-toity. You might be common as muck. But it shouldn't depend on the money you've got and it shouldn't depend on your luck. Cause everybody's body gets sick and tired and stressed. So everybody's body serves the very best. Oh yes, that's the ballad of the NHS. 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 Oh, yes, well, after all those years of PFI and then austerity, and some of you will have to die for herd immunity. Well, you might be five weeks early, you might be 95, but it won't be clapped for bodger. That's keeping you alive. Oh, yes, that's the ballad of the NHS. 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 Oh, matron. That's the ballad of the NHS. Um, I have to, I, I have to say that Bodger me, I can't, I can't call him Boris because that makes him sound too affectionate, and I won't call him a cunt because I just think that's <laughs> sexist, and I can't call him Johnson because that's my name, and that presupposes at some point we might be related. So I, I, I call him Bodger which I think describes him perfectly. So this is, I wrote this song yesterday, um, and so that's why I needed the words. Uh, I saw a clip of this, uh, this uh, de delegate comrade called James, I forgot his second name, but he provided me with the chorus. When the skies are gray ahead, don't worry. Don't worry what will happen when you're ill. 
any gas? Don't worry. Don't worry if you can't afford to pay your bills. If you're running out of cash, don't worry. Don't worry if you don't know what to do. Because the Labour Party's going to make a rule change. It'll make everything much easier for you. If you're paler, mailer, staler. When they've cancelled all the trains, don't worry. Don't worry if you can't afford new shoes. When there's no one to complain to, don't worry. When you're right. No, and don't worry if no one's listening to you. running out of hope, just don't worry. Don't worry if your nose is turning blue. Because the Labour Party's going to make a rule change. It'll make everything much easier for you. If you're paler, mailer, staler. When you're running out of petrol, don't worry. Don't worry if the rain keeps raining too. If you're still queuing up for petrol the next day, don't worry. Don't worry if your socks are all wet through. Because Kate and Wills have had a lovely pub picnic. And don't forget there's always Strictly too. And the Labour Party leaders made a rule change. It'll make everything much easier for you. If you're paler, mailer, staler, paler, mailer, staler, everything will be much easier for you. If you're paler, mailer, staler, so paler, mailer, staler, everything will be much easier for you. See, this is difficult because I don't have many happy songs. Um, so, uh, <laughs> so, uh, so Leah, Leah will be on next. I like try and remember some happy songs. This is a true story. Um, uh, me, me and my son, I have, I have two wonderful sons, and uh, when one Harry was in the nursery and Arvin was in the buggy, we used to drop we used to drop Harry off at nursery, and he'd sort of peer through the window at us, looking a bit forlorn because he had a lot of sand to shift and tube stuff pile up so he could see his motor growth skill, growth motor skill box and stuff like that. And we'd say, don't worry, we'll be back at lunchtime to spring you for an afternoon's class consciousness raising activities. Um, I'll have my dodgy vegan lasagna in the oven bleh, and then we'll get the paint pots out and we'll have a surrealist art workshop in solidarity with Paris in the 1930s. And then, then we're going to watch a new Norman Wisdom film in solidarity with our Albanian comrades. And, and that would cheer him up. <laughs> no end, obviously. <laughs> and I said, oh, what do you want to do, Arv? And Arv would go, trains, Daddy. So we'd have a train adventure, which would involve getting a train to somewhere we could get back from in time for 11.30 and, and having a big slice of sludgy chocolate cake. And Arv is the best, he's a lovely human being. He's the best drum in the world I've ever played with. He has lots of skills. Uh, but at, at the age of two and a half, his main skill was smearing. <laughs> at international level, could smear. So I used to sort of get a bottle of sparkling mineral water shake out, chuck it over his head, because I always forget to wear whites, being a bloke. And, and by the time we got home, he dried. Social services never knew. And um, so, so one time uh, we were doing this, and we, we got off at Richmond, and we saw this woman standing with a lab check on her head. I went, where's this strange? She said, look, she's got a lab check in the water. I said, well, you know, diversity. And um, we came back, the whole concourse was mobbed with women with lampshades on their heads because it's Ladies Day at Ascot. Look at all the posh cats standing on the platform waiting for a train to come from Clapham Junction and whisk them off to Ascot so as they can have a little flutter with their moss cross men. But Brenda's in the RMT and an orange Safety jacket, she knows. It's time.
time to blow the whistle and shout, Stand clear! Here comes the train for Aston. Five minutes late, complain the posh Aston. They climb aboard the first class as fast as high heels will allow. Just then a final posh hat in matching pastel lilac comes trotting down the stairs as fast as her high heels will allow. But Brenda's in the RMT and a pair of tacky trainers but she knows it's time to blow the whistle and shout Stand clear! Ignoring Brenda, Miss Fate, Posh Hat trots on across the platform. Brenda squares her shoulders and shouts, I said stand clear, you! Uh! This is not a voice you argue with. The universe itself stops dead. Well, Brenda slowly nods her head and the train rolls clear. Because Brenda's in the RMT and a red shirt from the co-op and she knows it's time to blow the whistle and shout, stand clear! Our train arrives a minute later. We wave bye-bye to Posh Hat. Brenda now wears the grim smile of a job well done. <laughs> it's ladies day at Ascot, but the trains keep rolling. Toffs nil, workers one. Toffs nil, workers one. Toffs nil. Workers one. Brenda. <laughs> Leah, are you here? Cheer, Leah. Cheer, Leah. Hi. Leah, would you like to welcome Leah? Yeah. It's just so weird up here because I can't see anybody. I mean, there could be a vast crowd or no one. Um, vast crowd. So I didn't know I was singing until uh, uh, a minute or so ago, a few minutes ago. So I've frantically thought of three songs. So I shall sing a nice gentle one that you might all know. Uh, and please join in. Uh, it gets a bit tedious listening to someone singing without instruments. Uh, so that's why I'm not going to sing too many. So this is Bread and Roses. And Rob might start strumming because I'm sure he knows it. Um, oh yeah, I don't, watch, key, look, uh, professional amateur. I'm going to sing, if he catches up the key, uh, it would be great. As we come marching, marching in the beauty of the day, a million darkened kitchens, a thousand mill of grey, are touched with all the radiance that a sudden sun discloses for the people here are singing bread and roses, bread and roses. As we come marching, marching, we battle to for men, our brothers in the struggle, and together we will win. Our lives shall not be sweated from birth until life closes. Hearts starve as well as bodies. Give us bread, but give us roses. As we come marching, marching, we bring the greater days. For the rising of the women, raise 
rises up the human race. No more the drudge and idler. Millions toil where one reposes, but a sharing of life's glories. Red and roses, red and roses. Thank you. Um, now, I found this song, I hope I can find it again, on, uh, oh my God, my stupid new phone is driving me mad. Um, where is my phone gone? Sorry, 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 it's so amateur Um I had it all ready, but here we go. So anyway, I shall talk while I'm finding it. I had it all ready, typical, typical. Um, Okay, so this is a song that I think is nearly 60 years old. It was written by Leon Rosselson. And Leon Rosselson, I, I think he did it for a TV program, that was the week that was. And it's called The Battle Hymn of the New Socialist Party. And I cannot believe how relevant it is. Um, it's to, the, to a tune you will probably recognize those of you in the Labour Party. And those of you who don't, you'll recognize it from Christmas Carol. Cloth cap and the working class as images are dated. For we are labor's avant garde and we were educated. We think we ought to drop clothes for to make the public love us more. And just to prove we're still sincere, we'll sing the red flag once a year. Firm principles and policies are open to objection. A streamlined party image is the way to win election. For well, we are sure, no, oh, that's the wrong word, sorry. I'll read the words. So raise the red, red rose on high. The world cuts you to the tasteful tie. We'll stand united, raise a cheer, and sing the red flag once a year. It's one step forward, one step back. Our dump is devilish daring. A leftward shuffle, rightward tack, then pause to take our bearing. We'll change the country bit by bit, and nobody will notice it. And just to prove we're still sincere, we'll sing the red flag once a year. And we'll not cease from mental fight till every wrong is righted. And all men are equal quite, and all our leaders knighted. For oh, we are sure if we persist, we'll make the new year on his list. And every loyal labor peer will sing the red flag once a year. So vote for us and not for them. We're just as true to NATO. We'll stand as firm and British as we steer the ship of state. Oh, we'll stand as firm as them to show we're patriotic gentlemen. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Though man to man shall brothers be to use the bombs, our po no, deterrence is our policy, sorry. So raise the mushroom cloud on high, and within their shades we'll live and die. Though flowers pinch and traitors sneer, we'll sing the red flag once a year. So um, I sang on, I, I stole some of Rob's uh, time once before, so I think it was a bit more planned. I sang for a I think, retired unison branch in Lewis or somewhere. And uh, anyway, I was booked this time, so this time it's just giving him a rest. But this is my last song, and there is a bit of hope in it. Um, and you might know this song, it's by Sai Khan. I don't know how old this is. And those old people who recognize some uh, socialist songs there, uh, and, and how important those songs are for us. Um, 
But it's also about the future. I picked up my first one. Okay, cool. <laughs> Don't you think it's crazy, this old world and its ways? Whoever thought the 60s would be called the good old days? Like the weaver sang for us, wasn't that a time? when we raised our hands and voices in the line. And they all sang bread and roses, Joe Hill and Union made. We linked our arms and told each other, we, we are, are not, not afraid. afraid. Solidarity forever would go rolling through the halls. We shall overcome together one and all. The more I study history, the more I seem to find that in every generation there are times just like that time when folks like you and me who thought that they were all alone within this honored movement found a home. And we all sang bread and roses, Joe Hill and Union made. We linked our arms and told each other we were not afraid. Solidarity forever would go rolling through the halls. We shall overcome together, one and all. Though each generation is that it may be the last, our present year is witness to the power of the past. And just as we have drawn our strength from those who now are gone, younger hands will take our work and carry on. And they'll all we'll sing red, red and roses, Joe Hill and Union Lane. They'll link their arms and tell each other, we are not afraid. Solidarity forever would go rolling through the halls. We shall overcome together, one and all. Thank you. Slight but imperceptible change of tone. This is a love poem. It's a poem internationalist, anti colonialist, anti imperialist. It's a love poem written by Brendan Behan when he was 12 or 13. The love is from Ireland to the Irish Revolutionary Republicans who in one form or another eventually won their independence. The last time, the, in fact, the only other time I've spoke, performed, uttered, said this poem was in Athens. I'm a member of Octay Spartacos, the Greek section of the Fourth International, and I go to their meetings regularly in central Athens. And I said this poem, by the way, it's a very short poem and a long introduction. And I, uh, I said this poem and I saw people with tears down their eyes. Now, were they tears of hilarity? No. Were they tears of despair? When will this finish? No. They were tears of emotion, because this poem, Laughing Boy, has been taken up by the global and in particular the Greek left as a symbol, as an anthem of anti-fascist and anti-colonialist resistance. And I didn't know, I didn't know when I said, I picked that poem out of a million poems. That was the one English or Irish, beg your pardon, 
Irish poem that is taught in every Greek school. Every Greek knows this poem, and it came to prominence in particular after the uh, coup of the colonels uh, was uh, defeated in 1973-74 in Athens. So, love poems. It was uh, on an August morning, all in the dawning hours, I went to take the warming air, all in the mouth of flowers. And there, there I saw a maiden, mournful was her cry. Oh, what will mend my broken heart? I've lost my laughing boy. So strong, so wild and brave he was. I mourn his loss too sore. When thinking that I'll hear the laugh or springing step no more. Ah, cure the times and sad the loss. My heart's to crucify. That's an Irish gun. That's an Irish son with a rebel gun shot down my laughing boy. Oh, had he died by Pierce's side or in the GPO, killed by an English bullet from the rifle of the foe, or forcibly fed with ash, lay dead in the dungeons of Mount Joy. I'd have cried for pride for the way he died. My own dear laughing boy, my princely love, can ageless love do more than tell to you, thank you for all you tried to do, for all you did and would have done my enemies to destroy. I'll mourn your name and praise your fame, my laughing boy. It was about Michael Collins, who was called Laughing Boy by Brendan Behan's mother. And he was killed in the pro-treaty, anti-treaty civil war after Ireland gained some form of independence. Now, I'm a bit hesitant about doing the next one because Leah just did it. But never let that stop anyone. So here it is again. And I've got a poem here which is not a poem, but it can be done poetically. And it reminds us, and actually with this group of people here, that we all know it. So what's the point of me doing it? Pure pride. So here it is. And it's, uh, it's putting into poetic form, actually just reading the words of a song which bespeaks to our internationalist experience, to the terrible things that have happened and been done to socialists and comrades and trade unions, and it points to the future. And it has a couple of choice words to say about those within our midst. The people's flag is deepest red. It shrouded oft our martyred dead. Before their limbs grew stiff and cold, their heart's blood died its every fold. So, raise the scarlet standard here. Beneath its fold we'll live and, and die. Though cowards flinch and traitors sneer, we'll keep the red flag flying here. It waved above our infant might when all ahead seemed dark as night, it witnessed many a deed and vow. We mustn't change its colour now. Then raise the scarlet standard high. Beneath its folds we'll live or die. And though cowards flinch and traitors sneer, we'll keep the red flag flying here. It well recalls the triumphs past, gives the hope of peace at last. The banner bright, the symbol plain of human right and human gain. So raise the scarlet standard high. Beneath its folds we'll live and die. Though cowards flinch and traitors sneer. 
We'll keep the red flag flying here. It suits today the meek and base whose minds are fixed on self and place to cringe before the rich man's frown and haul that sacred emblem down. Raise the scarlet standard high. Beneath its folds we'll live or die. Though cowards flinch and traitors sneer, we'll keep the red flag flying here with heads uncovered Swear we all to bear it onward till we fall. Come dungeons dark or gallows grim, this song shall be our parting hymn. Raise the scarlet standard high. Beneath its folds we'll live and die. Though cowards flinch and traitors sneer, we'll keep the red flag flying here. Thank you. So I, I wasn't doing very much. Well, it's all right. Okay. Little Vinnie Jones, he wants to be an artist, but he lives up in the flats in one of them big blocks up the hill. Where you don't get any trees and you don't get any gardens. You get rubbish bins and black sacks at bus stops and that's it. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. When we do PE, he always does it barefoot. Dad delivers pizzas. Mum looks 17, but he's really good with words and he's really good with numbers, and he's really good at making things, and he's everybody's friend. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. Government says we don't have any money. So we're cutting this, we're cutting that. Work more, pay more, get less. Playing for the people in those nice big houses with their gardens behind high walls where you never feel a thing. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. I don't like the rich. 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 Little Vinnie Jones, he wants to be an artist. How many pizzas does it take to get to Monet's garden? How many kids you think ever wanted to be artists but got stuck inside a flat with some pound shop felt tip pens? So don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. I don't like the rich. 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 Little Vinnie Jones 
and wants to be an artist. little Edie Annie Spinks likes the Beatles and the Kinks living in a council house quieter than a council mouse never past 11 plus rides the number 13 bus to the secondary modern where she gets forgotten mum and dad work all the hours Edie's good at growing flowers and Edie likes to sing along to her favourite Beatles song all you need is love 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 all you need is love Love, love, all you need is love, 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 and comprehensive schools. Well, Esmeralda Fortescue spends her whole life feeling blue. A lovely house, a lovely home, a lovely garden, all her own. Goes to such a lovely school to learn her Latin grammar rules. How can you be lonely? When you've got a pony, she practices for scales for hours. She's not allowed to pick the flowers. Mummy's never, ever there, and Daddy likes the new au pair. But all you need is love, love, love. All you need is love, love, love. All you need is love, 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 and comprehensive schools. child should have the chance to learn to grow and sing and dance it doesn't matter where you're from you can go wherever you want round the corner over the moon beyond the stars it's up to you whether you're Edie Annie Spinks or Esmeralda Fortis you well all you need is love 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 all you need is love 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 all you need is love 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 and comprehensive schools and properly funded free from central state interference no fucking national curriculum thank you and no high state outcome testing and certainly Michael Goh's head on a stick Comprehensive score. Every child has the right to shelter. Every child has the right to food. Every child has the right to be protected, to be who they are, to be what they choose. Every child, without exception, there is no dividing line. Every child means all children. From here to Palestine. From here to Palestine. Every child has the right to education. Every child has the right to play. Every child has the right to be respected. A voice to be heard. A right to have their say. Every child means all children. There is no dividing line. Every child without exception. From here to Palestine. From here to Palestine. 
and I'm sick of all these hypocrites. Turning blind eye on blind eye. Soldiers attacking children. Every day in Palestine. There's every child without exception. There is no dividing line. Every child means all children. From here to Palestine. From here to Palestine. Can't hear you. From here to Palestine. From here to Palestine. Last time. From here to Palestine. I remember I was walking down the Kingsley Road. See, I've gone from Hounslow. I said, Southall. I lived in, anybody from Southall? Yeah, People's Republic. Seven glorious years in the People's Republic of Southall. That's in verse three. See, I remember I was walking down the Kingsley Road. See a man look like I never see a man look like before. I go, Mum, look, there's a black man. Mum goes, shh, he's not black, he's coloured. Oh, I'm confused. Oh, we all. Oh, coloured. Well, me, I was born on the NHS. Was our African sister helps me out into the world. Later on, I learned about the sugar and the spice, how it was slavery. Built that nice Tate gallery, and there's brown and black, brown and black. Brown and black in the Union Jack. Later on, there was Billy's down the Kingsley Road. And the Peking Palace, where my nans only ever ordered fish and chips. But suddenly, everywhere wasn't either grey and or clothes. <laughs> And we get Bombay mix. We get the Bombay mix. We get the Bombay mix, and that's as British as fish and chips. And that's Jewish anyway. Brown and black. Brown and black. Brown and black in the Union Jack. The brown and black in the union, brown and black in the union, brown and black in the union. Let's have a rainbow. the Southall Broadway with the Hounslow N-U-T. We're chanting who killed Blair Peach. The police killed Blair Peach. Then I'm the only gotter in the Hammersmith Palais. Dancing to Apna Sangeet with my Punjabi sisters. And there's brown and black, brown and black, brown and black 
and the Union Jack. It's like the South All Black Sisters used to say, here to dance, here to fight, here to stay. It's like the South All Black Sisters used to say, here to dance, here to fight, here to stay. Brown and black in the Union, brown and black in the Union, brown and black in the Union, Jack. There might be another song about South Away. I, I was going to do this because um, I'll do this one. Bob Crow was no angel. Bob Crow was no saint. Bob Crow was a union man. Bob Crow was nobody's fool. Bob Crow was no passeran. Bob Crow was a union man. So you raise your head, raise your voice, raise your hand for peace and justice. Here's to the next Bob Crow. Here's to the next Bob Crow. Bob Crow loved his family, his Millwall and his class. Bob Crow was a union man. Bob Crow hated bosses, their governments and their wars. Bob Crow was a union man. So you raise your head, you raise your voice, raise your hand. For peace and justice, here's to the next Bob Crow. Here's to the next Bob Crow. From the tunnels of the London underground to the rigs of the North Sea oil. Bob Crow was our union man. Bob Crow built the union up by never backing down. Bob Crow was a union man. So you raise your head, you raise your voice, raise your hand. For peace and justice, here's to the next Bob Crow. Here's to the next Bob Crow. So you raise your head, raise your voice, raise your hand. For peace and justice, here's to the next Bob Crow. 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 I, I was think I always like to try and do sort of like some kind of kind of you know, sort of gender balance. So uh, it's a song about it's, you know you look at people and you think yeah that was great and then you think oh you read something you think oh that's a bit embarrassing isn't it? Um, very few of us can escape the tropes of our times, but I think it's. About a person, she, she was just a teacher who I think is actually is exemplary. If you put her down anywhere, she'd even know exactly which was the right side of history to be on. Um, this is a song dedicated to Louise Michel of the Paris Commune. <laughs> God sits on his high horse on top of his hill, and he blesses those weapons that wound, maim, and kill. In the name of the Father, the name of the Son. Saint Peter stands guard with his old ak gun. Well, God sits on his high horse with all the best views. As his cops kill the Arabs and round up the Jews. So repent all your sins, citizens of the plain. Or your father will smite you again and again. But under 
God's nose at the foot of the hill. People ride round on a grand carousel, and children play free in Place Louis Michel. And I know where I'd rather be any day. Well, this God's just a puppet that works hand in glove. With those hands that abuse you and tell you it's love. The deal of my cards and the old pack of lies. Saying heaven someplace somewhere up in the sky. So you on your high horse, you with God's will. You with your White House and cops that can kill. Out of the crowd and a cloudless blue sky. Comes Louise Michelle, and there's fire in her eyes. And under God's nose at the foot of the hill, people ride round on a grand carousel. Children play free in Place Louise Michelle. And I know where I'd rather be any day any day. So here's to the commune and Louis Michel. Here's to no gods and no masters. And if I had to choose between heaven and hell, I'd choose you and the streets of Montmartre any day. Any day. Any day. Any day. <laughs> well, I think maybe three more, is that okay? And then we can go, go hit the beer. Um, oh, this, this is, um, this is very quiet. This is quiet. Having, having obviously raised the, raised the temperature, I'm going to just cut that up by doing a quiet song. Um, has anybody seen that uh, film, The Help? Help with Jodie Comer. Yeah, so the official uh, opposition now consists of the English football team and Jodie Comer. <laughs> but it's, it's really wonderful. And my mum, um, this is based upon the woman who looked after my mum. My mum died just before the COVID lockdown, and um, she was she had this brilliant carer called Penny. Um, and just as chat to Penny, you find out, okay, so Penny turned out at 8 o'clock to see my mum, and then she had to be somewhere at quarter past 8. Penny turned up every morning, eight o'clock, got mum awake, up and dressed in 15 minutes, a cup of tea and her rice cake, baby porridge in the winter, making sure the sheets were clean, then it's off to do the same thing, somewhere else at 8.15, minimum wages. Mm -hmm. Minimum wages. Mm -hmm. They both talked about their husbands. Penny's hadn't wanted kids. Penny's laugh was grit and silk cut, like a pride in what she did. Making porridge in the winter, making sure the sheets were clean. Back at eight o'clock tomorrow, and somewhere else at eight fifteen, minimum wages. Mm -hmm. Minimum wages. Mm -hmm. And it's pointless getting angry with the office on the phone. They're overpaid and underworked. Cut back to the phone. Another company takes them over. The uniforms are white, not blue. Penny turns up every morning. Do the things I couldn't do. On minimum wages. Mm -hmm. Minimum wages. Mm -hmm. 
then he telephoned the ambulance before she woke me up. And he stayed for 40 minutes till me and the ambulance turned up. And then he couldn't get the time off for the funeral or the wake. Care is not about the service, but the profit you can make. Minimum wages. Minimum wages. Minimum wages. Minimum wages. Now, at some point, I would appreciate it if you kind of imagine that you're in the Red Army entering Berlin and go, "Hey!" hey. No, we, we, you know, we, you know that. Red Army wasn't all composed of Stalinists, it was, you know, good socialists there. No. Karl Marx is on his skateboard, Karl Marx is in mid-air, with his Che Guevara t-shirt and those dreadlocks in his hair. Karl Marx is on his mobile and he Facebooks and he tweets with his Art the Trotsky Trilby and those converse on his feet. And I said, hey, what else can you do? I still got the Karl Marx City Blues. I said, hey, what else can you do? I still got the Karl Marx City Blues. Karl Marx was on the demo. Karl Marx was in the crowd. But when they asked him to join the party, Karl Marx just laughed out loud. Karl Marx has gone electric behind the beard, the bloke. He wrote lots of dialectics, but not that many jokes. And I said, hey, what else can you do? I still got the Karl Marx city blues. I said, hey. What else can you do? I still got the Karl Marx City Karl Marx has got a piercing and his tattoo says unite while Elvis left the building Karl Marx still rocks all night and Karl Marx <laughs> used to live in Chemnitz just like a rolling stone but his band was like the Velvets you go start one of your own and I said hey what else can you do I still got the Karl Marx City Blues. I said, hey, what else can you do? I still got the Karl Marx City Blues. You know, I still got the Karl Marx City. I still got those Karl Marx City. I got those Karl Marx City Blues. So, so Dave is, comes on, is, comes on with, his, with his red mask. I thought you, you know, reviving the Sandinista. He said, yes, I was there. I said, oh, yeah. So I, 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 he, was in San, he, he was in San Francisco, and I stupidly managed to persuade Hounslow and you two to pay for me nearly to get to Managua for the 10th anniversary of the revolution, where I contracted terminal diarrhea. I was doing all right up until, up until I had the beer with the ice cubes in it. Oh, shit. And indeed, it was shit.
So this is me um, as an instrument. Because for a while they were the very best of us. Well, even this old bus, she's like the revolution, moves real slow down these dirt roads. And the people ride, and they get to where they're going on this old bus down these dirt roads. Sing, I, 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 small revolution, small revolution, and the wheels turn round. Small revolution, small revolution, they turn our whole world round. And the driver on the bus, he's like El Presidente, better take this bus where we want to go. Sometimes he